people, I'm Ginny Metherill and this is my channel all about everyday easy witchcraft for everybody to do. I'm a fourth generation witch. I learnt my craft from my predecessors and as a result I don't tend to use expensive or way out ingredients and in fact part of being a traditional witch, which is what I like to call myself, is knowing how to use everyday simple objects to provide you with the best that you can in your craft. So today's video we're going to look at home protection using these. So today's video is going to use an essential oil burner and essential oils, some moon water which I created at the last full moon, I have some bay and I'm going to combine it with some other herbs from my garden and finally some incense for my incense burner. We're going to look at five quick techniques for protecting your home, which is a really good idea to do this at the moment, because as we come out of lockdown, we're going to have, I hope, a lot more visitors crossing our threshold. And what this will do, these protective charms, is they will knock off the negativity from those people as you enter, or any bad jujus that are hanging around won't be able to cross that threshold. So this is my video about home protection. You don't have to use all of them by any stretch of the imagination. You can use as many or as few as you like, but at least obviously one, because you've got to have one to give you some form of protection. So don't look at the mess around my house because there is quite a lot of building work going on. So I'm slightly surrounded by piles of crap. And it's upsetting me so much. I can't wait for them to go. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to use some moon water and I make moon water pretty much every single month because I get through quite a lot of it. This is the simplest and easiest one to do. We're going to use the moon water to draw a sigil upon the door and this sigil will help protect and keep away any negativity from your home. So we're going to use the pentacle which is on my coffee cup here which is a pentagram, which is this five pointed star within the circle. I love my coffee cup. One of my children gave it to me for Christmas and I never get to drink out of it because everyone else likes it too and nicks it. So all I'm going to do is use my finger to draw a five pointed star surrounded by a circle. And as that dries, that'll give me a pretty good connection. However, if you didn't want to use a five pointed star, you could use the eye of Horus. A friend of mine, in fact, has got an eye of Horus tattooed on his right arm. This is actually rather beautiful. Uh, but he cannot, therefore, use that arm on a Ouija board. Now, Ouija boards, as you probably already know, I think are completely and utterly dreadful because they only ever access bad jujus, demonic entities, negative spirits. And it defines it very interesting that he who has the Eye of Horus tattooed on his arm, cannot use the Ouija board. Likewise, the pentacle is one that has been used for generations upon generations. The circle enclosing the five pointed star, which we're going to use the correct way up rather than the upside down version. But actually, to be fair, it doesn't really matter because it's your intention of drawing the circle and putting the pentacle in it that makes that pentacle protective. The moon is a guardian spirit and so adds protection automatically to all moon water. So it's a great thing to use. And also as the moon strikes your door, if it ever reaches it, it will recharge that symbol. The next thing we need to talk about is the herbs. So I'm just using bay and rosemary because that's what I've got in my garden and what I've got in my shelves. But next, I'm gonna use some rosemary. It's the only thing that's growing in my house at the moment. Just a couple of sprigs are fine. Rosemary is a great herb for protection, especially when combined with other protective herbs. It makes a really strong charm for the home. So I've got my uh, bay and my rosemary. I'm simply going to tie them up with a ribbon and hang them over the door. Bay and rosemary together make a really great charm, and I 
recommend just doing this anyway because it smells so divine. The rosemary and the bay. Mm, yum, there we go. Isn't that charming? My next charm is to place an essential oil burner right by your door opening and let the candle burn down fully, releasing the essential oil all over the front of the door. Most essential oils have some inbuilt form of protection from the actual oil that the essential oils are distilled into. So you could use pretty much whatever you like. I'm going to use some rose geranium and as anybody who's watched all of my videos will know, I adore the scent of rose. Next up is incense and I've got a small incense burner here and a charcoal disc which I'm going to light and place it within the incense burner. On top of the charcoal disc I'm going to add some of my frankincense resin. I love frankincense, it reminds me of church and childhood, so it's a beautiful smell. There, look at that. Smudging well. Again, let it burn down and once the smoke has finished, the spell is cast. And finally, for all of those who are able to do so, you can use your wand and just cast a protective circle. I start at the north. That's how I do it. It's a bit difficult to explain. I'm just using my intention to set the circle and what I want to happen within that circle. It's sort of senior witchcraft, that bit. I would love to know which one you're going to use. Are you going to draw your sigils of moon water? Are you going to put a posy of protective herbs over your door? Are you going to burn some essential oils, smudge or cast a circle? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a like and a subscribe. And finally, don't forget that if you want to join our cover meeting, it's happening on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, 8th of March. Go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny for details. I'll see you in my next video.